cheesy, meaty, delightful. Yep, I'm in love right now. I'm in love with this bread and this <laughs> omelet. This is the ABR Roadshow. I'm Danielle DeTomo, and today we are in Clearfield, Pennsylvania at Spanky's Courthouse Cafe. This is a family-run restaurant, and get this, they are known for their homemade bread here. I am so excited to try that and learn more about the history of this restaurant. I'm ready to try some food, which means we're going to the kitchen. Come on, y'all. Getting things started in the kitchen. We got Linda, who's gonna be making the food for us, and Zane, who's gonna be talking us through it. So Zane, your parents actually own the restaurant. Yes, ma'am. So family run restaurant here. What is the first menu item that Linda's making for us to feature today? Uh, she's making our signature 10 inch heart attack omelet. It features uh, eight, we have eight eggs that we put in the base for it, and then it features Four meats. And speaking of, I think that's what she's grabbing right now. Yep, we throw it on the grill right over here and cook mm -hmm. it up right before. And then that equals one pound for our whole heart attack omelet. Okay, you eight eggs. Yeah. Is it every omelet like that or just this every one? Every 10 inch. Every 10 inch omelet. We also have a six inch for the people that might not be able to finish a whole 10 inch omelet. <laughs> yeah, I can relate to, to that, to that, because this <laughs> yeah. is probably the biggest omelet. I'm gonna see your dad actually like. Oh, she's about to flip it actually. Ooh, okay, right on. yeah. Get a nice spray your down. Your dad tells everyone you have the biggest omelet in Pennsylvania. I would believe it if somebody told me. That. Yeah, I'm seeing that right now. <laughs> I mean, that yeah. looks like a, a, a burrito almost. Like, <laughs> yeah. I would, like, it really does. Yeah, she's about to lay down a base of shredded cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the meat again, I'm seeing bake. It's bacon, ham. Bacon, ham, sausage, steak. And steak. <laughs> Good God. Yeah. One People gotta be hungry to eat this. Oh, yeah. Y'all, it looks like a burrito, I swear. <laughs> yeah, it looks you... like a big, fat burrito right now, just what? instead of the tortilla and an egg. <laughs> Once she folds it up, she puts two slices of American cheese on it, and then she's going to melt it. Okay. And then she puts a little bit of the meat and everything that's left over to garnish it, never waste anything here. Once yeah, you you it it all. yeah. <laughs> all right, there, there it is. Listen up, y'all. It is taste time. First of all, this thing is huge. Can we just, you know what? I'm gonna let you hold this for for me. He looks yes, like he lifts weights, right? <laughs> okay. So he can he can handle this. I got something on this fork. <laughs> I got something. Cheesy, meaty, delightful. <laughs> oh my god, that is fantastic! Listen, but I can't, I can't, I gotta, I can't finish this until I take a bite of the bread too. Absolutely. Homemade bread. Yep, I'm in love right now. I'm in love with this bread and this <laughs> omelet. Great job! Thank you both so much for having me Absolutely. in the kitchen. I mean, we got a lot of work to do on this. I think um, I think a homie can help me out here. It looks like he can handle it, so we can go get some help. Then we're gonna meet your parents. We are joined now with both of the owners, husband and wife. We got Rob and Heather. So first I wanna say, thanks for having us today. Absolutely. It has been great. Just met your son in the kitchen. So yeah, we uh, met one of the family members, but you'll meet a ton when you come to eat here. So we'll definitely be talking about that. Well, I want to start with the food, because yes. if you can see, we got some good stuff on the table. Let's start with the, the sweet item here. Tell me about this. This is uh, three slices of French toast with uh, strawberries and whipped cream topping. Of course, you can add syrup too, for yeah. if that's not syrupy, they're sweet enough for you. <laughs> I'm just uh, going for it. <laughs> it's made with our homemade bread that's uh, baked here fresh daily. And uh, it's one of our most popular items, and I'm sure you'll love it. Yeah, I'm a big sweet breakfast gal. Me too. So this is like, you know, if I lived here and was a local, this would be my go-to. All right, <laughs> gotta take a bite out of this. 
very sweet. Mm, strawberry. And that bread is something special. It is. Mm -hmm. it's the, that's a, the main reason why a lot of people come here is that homemade bread. Hey, guess what, y'all? Every menu item I get to try today has the bread on it. So this is my <laughs> lucky day. Okay, well, let's go to the next one. This is going to be an interesting one for me to tackle. Yep. There's a lot going on here. Talk about this. This is our ham and turkey club. Also, this one's made with the homemade bread. Okay. Um, with a side of chips and a pickle. And uh, it's also one of our most popular items, and it's generally my go-to item. Okay. Because it's big and it's a lot. It's great. I'm just, I'm trying to figure out. Um, you can do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, uh, we're gonna try our, okay. I feel like I'll get halfway through this. Okay, if I'm a big turkey person, I should go for maybe the turkey side. It's all good. Oh, got some good stuff right there. Absolutely, you got one way to go though. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, but can, can we look at what, what else are gonna try? Yep, okay. absolutely. I'm preparing myself. <laughs> oh yeah, I love a good club. Mm. Me too. I can see why this is your favorite. Delicious. I'm telling y'all, like I've been saying, I keep saying it. That bread, just that bread. Is it, I'm looking at getting lipstick on. Is there lip, lipstick on my face? Oh, How am I doing? You're fine, you're fine. All right, it's on my hand, but I'll know <laughs> after this. All right, <laughs> this one. Saved it for last because we don't know what's about right. to happen here. All right, what in the world is this thing? <laughs> Um, this was one of my mother's creations called a Pittsburgh Slammer. I'll take that. Pittsburgh Slammer, yep. what does that mean? Well, she just slammed everything on it that she had one day and we <laughs> called it a sandwich. Uh, it comes with different varieties. This one's an actual roast beef Slammer. Okay, what I've noticed, everything's kind of huge here. <laughs> if, if you check our uh, Google page, the last thing it says in my comments is, don't come here if you ain't hungry. Because oh you're going facts. to get fed here. <laughs> And when I'm working here on the weekends and I'm busting tables, you can ask our customers. I clear the plates off and if, 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 if their plates are empty, I ask them if they want me to fill it back up. Because I want to make sure you don't leave here hungry. You choose this place, you come to this place, and we want you to be full when you leave here. They're, they're doing their best work with me today. <laughs> I, I don't even know. I'm just trying to like, like help myself out here. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to smush it a little bit. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh my god. Mmm. I'm going. Hey, there you goes still didn't mess up your lipstick. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I know. know. Professional. But, yeah, <laughs> I'm impressed. Mm. That is. Mm. <laughs> that roast beef. Yeah, roast beef is mm -hmm. top quality. We, mm. Right. We spent a long time trying to find a, a good place to get the roast beef that we were happy with. and That is very beef. good. Yeah. Thank you. I don't eat a lot of roast beef either. So when I just taste it, I'm like, oh, it's different. Beef. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your food is great. I can see why people come here literally every single day. Absolutely. So yeah. You have customers that will come every day. Your mom yes. started the restaurant. She did. Take me through kind of the history of how it began to where it is now. Well, it started a long time ago. I'm going to say maybe 30 some years ago. Um, this this restaurant actually started out as a concession stand. They traveled around to all the different fairs from Pennsylvania, even into Maryland. Did a few biker shows, things like that. Selling tacos and different Mexican items. Um, at one point, I'd say 1997 or so, she decided to open a cafe because that had been her always been her dream. Her mother had had a cafe at one time. So she opened the restaurant and continued to try to do the taco stand for probably another year, year and a half, and it was just too much. The restaurant was taken off. It was a huge success right off the bat. And so she decided to give up the road, the life on the road and just settle down and try to provide the best service for our hometown that she could. It's been a popular destination for the locals here for the last 25 years. Wow, yeah. 25 years. And then you two took over, was it eight years ago? Approximately eight years ago, okay. yeah. Yep. My mother became ill and couldn't uh, take care of it, everything herself. So we stepped in and we didn't want to let the family business down. And we're not going to. We're going to make sure it succeeds. Yeah, let's talk about that too. Like how there is so many family members in here and staff that was here when your mom owned it to now when you both right. own it. Our staff is the only reason this place is still open. Our staff is everything to us. Mm -hmm. um, they, they run the place. They, they take care of it like it's their own. Um, if there's something not right, they fix it and they make it right. And they're, they are all instructed to make sure every customer when they walk out the door is 100% happy. 
And so our waitress are instructed, if there's something wrong, fix it. You can't fix it, give it to them for free. If you give them to them for free, don't work. Give them a gift certificate and give it to them for free. Go outside and open the car door for them and apologize the whole way to the car. <laughs> but don't let them leave here unhappy because they, they chose to come here. And that's a big thing. Well, we appreciate that. And so we want to make sure that whatever it might have happened, it, 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 it got fixed. Mm -hmm. So everybody comes back. Yeah. I yes. mean, we met someone earlier today, the round table people. Yes. Give a shout out to the round table people. <laughs> so they come every morning, same time? They do. I am the chairman of the round table here that you're sitting at. And we gather here every morning. We gather in here. We have 10 or 11 people. We've been doing it for years. And the great thing is we celebrate everybody's birthday in here. We celebrate wedding anniversaries in here and we celebrate the seasons in here. And they are fantastic with us. And the greatest thing is about here is that everyone looks out after everyone. It is, it is one of the things that I love about this place. People can come here and meet up with old friends, new friends, and they sit sometimes for hours and just sit here and talk, drink coffee. Some people I have to come in for breakfast and I have to ask them if they want lunch. They've been here so long. It's just a great, <laughs> comfortable family environment. Yeah. Well, thank you both so much for everything today. You have a great restaurant. Spanky's Courthouse Cafe right here in Clearfield, Pennsylvania. I love that every menu item they made for us today had that delicious homemade bread with it. It's such a great family run restaurant here. And that's why they are one of America's best restaurants. And for the ABR Roadshow, I'm Danielle DeTomo. See y'all next time.